Hello, Tracy here with a little layout share for you. I have three pages to share with you today. I'm going to start with this one, which is actually the middle one that I did. These layouts, one of them has a process video, but two of them do not, which is why I'm doing a little layout share video. The process videos for these are actually over on my Patreon. So if you are a tiara, you can check those out over there. And if you're not a tiara, you might want to consider becoming one. It's only $2 a month for the lowest tier. All tiers get all access to all of my videos over there. And I've been live streaming most Saturday mornings and into the afternoon and creating a bunch of projects and pages and also sharing some behind the scenes from my studio as well as from our Kit Club warehouse. So it's really fun. There's lots of stuff going on over there. And I thought I would let you guys know that if you would like to see real time videos of me creating these pages, that is the place to be. I will still continue to make edited process videos. I just didn't for these two. So this one is the one that I made last week and it is called Friends from Across the Sea. One of my favorite things about this layout is the title. And as you can see, it has this nice shiny glaze to the word friends. These are those Vicky Booten letter stickers that came in the Summer Lovin' Kit. I'm going to get them for you just to show you. Oh, I can't. They're across my room, so I won't. Uh, but they are plain white letter stickers with a, uh, I guess it's like a newsprint background. And they are very customizable. So I've colored in the insides of them for this with this beautiful glaze pen. These are glaze jelly roll pens grab one for you. It might not be the right color, but so this is what these pens look like. They are glaze. This is the navy blue one. I used a coral one. I can't kind of lay my hands on it here. It might have been this one, actually. I think it was. Uh, this one is called Aqua Lip, which is just the Japanese version of the same glaze pens. So I thought that that really picks up nicely on the coral in the background paper. And I framed the whole thing with this beautiful orange star paper. I tore the corners just so that you could see a little peek of more of that beautiful paper and added some uh, tiny attacher staples to that. I put a little sticker down here to draw your attention to that with a little brad and also a sticker up here, very subtle because it's a bit of a tone on tone kind of thing. As for the main part of this layout, we have a four by six photo. It's actually a little bit shorter than four. It's, it's a photo that I set to fit to a four by six photo, so it printed a little bit shorter. I have matted that on navy blue paper and then also matted it on some of the insides of this paper. So I did cut it out so that I didn't waste all of that beautiful orange paper. And so that is the mat that I used right here. I did ink the edges with, I can't remember what I inked the edges with. It could have been Distress ink or it might have been a Stampin' Up! navy blue ink pad. I can't remember. But if you check out the real time process video, it's over on my Patreon. I used one of the chipboard frames that came in the kit. There were three of these in the kit, so I was happy to use one up. I also used another brad here from Simple Stories and another one here so that there's a total of four uh, or three actually on this page. So one, two, and three. I sprinkled a couple of the confetti pieces from the confetti mix. There are three pieces right here. There's three more right up there. And then there's three more down here in this corner. I added the little globe sticker. I thought it was perfect for this title. And I did my journaling in white gel pen. There's This is a sticker from the sticker sheet that came in the kit. And this is a sticker or die cut. This is a sticker from the same set of 12 by 12 stickers. And then a couple of little dies, die cut pieces in behind here. This is a piece from the chipboard that came with the brads. And I did use a roller date stamp to put the date right here and another stamp to put the day of the week right there. And that is about it for this one. Oh, I forgot all about the circle in the back. I love using circles to anchor things. And this one I matted with blue paper. I cut both the circle and the mat 
uh, with my curvy cutter circle cutter. So that was last week's page. This was today's page. This page was my attempt to rescue a die cut piece. So this was cut with the cut file from the Mercy Terra kit for, for July. So that was the Summer Loving kit. And it came with a cut file, a background cut file, that has these, I guess, scallops, if you look at it this way. They look a little bit like maybe mermaid scales, if you put it this way. But in the process of cutting this file, the mat actually let go and it started cutting very weirdly. So I immediately pressed pause and ejected it and it ended up being just cut this, this place. So I have layered two more layers of this die cut that was completely cut on top of that. And so we have this partial cut and then two complete cuts on layered on top of it. So what you end up with is this textured tone on tone white with the scallops. And then right here, we have the cut file that goes all the way through to the orange background paper. So this is imperfect. So there are a couple of little marks on this, like there's a little imperfection here. And then there are also some stray cut marks right here from where the silhouette machine kind of went a little wonky on me. But I thought that I would just leave it in place. I think that if I don't point it out to you, you might not notice it. If you've got a keen eye, you might notice it, but that's okay. I would rather have this be on my page than have it be completely wasted because I thought that the way that it cut out in this kind of funny zigzaggy pattern was actually really interesting and I really wanted to make use of that piece. So I'm fine to use it even with that little bit of an imperfection right there. Now, all that I did with this, as is often the case when I use a complex cut file like this, is I go pretty simplistic with all of the rest of my embellishing. So I layered it with the orange pattern paper, the orange flower behind, and then I just double matted the photo on some green pattern paper, as well as some navy blue cardstock from my stash. I added this little embellishment, which was one of the die cuts in the kit, this little brad that was a die cut in the kit, this chipboard bus, which was in the set of die cuts. I used the letter stickers just plain this time. So this is what they look like when they're not, when they don't have mixed media on them. They're very nice just as they are. So I just left them plain. And then I also added this die cut that says summer to make my title be summer visit. Up here in the corner, I just put this really adorable die cut piece. I fell in love with this when I unboxed the kit. I was so in love with this embellishment and I knew I had to use it this month. So I'm really pleased that I got a chance to put it just in the very top corner of this. I did layer a couple of pieces of confetti from the kit on, the, on every couple of the little banner puffs and it holds my date, the date of the photo. So these two photos go very well together. They were taken on the same day and from different angles with the Citadel. Here we are on the back side of the Citadel and here we are on the front side of the Citadel. And so I think I will put these two together in my box of layouts where I keep my layouts. And then this one, I will walk you through this one just because I have it here, but there is a process video on my channel for this one. So you can check it out on my channel. I'll link it right here in a card, but this shows another example of something to do with these letter stickers. These letter stickers are what I call reverse colored, which means I colored the outsides of them and left the insides plain. And it gives you just a different look than what you get with doing it this way. I can't remember what kind of marker I used for this, but it would be in the process video. So you can check that out if you're curious about what kind of marker I used. I think it might have been this one. This is the marker that I used. I have it in a chisel tip and a fine tip, and I used the fine tip to get into these little corners of the A's and the M's, but I used the chisel tip to color in some of the bigger spaces that needed coloring. I think that both these letter stickers layer so well or work combine so well with these little letter stickers that also came in the kit. These ones came in the add-on and these ones came in the main kit and they just work so beautifully together. 
So this one is called Movie Club, Club Nomads, and I did add a little arrow there to fill in the empty space. I used some of the cut apart labels on this one. The, every month the kit comes with some color coordinated labels that perfectly match with the kit. So I cut those out and layered them there to hold my journaling. I added some pieces of confetti every here and there. So in a bunch of different places all around the layout. And I tucked in a couple of die cut pieces. There's some die cut pieces here and here and here. Another couple here, here and here. And another couple here and here. And this as well. This is a piece of chipboard from the brads from simple stories so we've got three of those brads as well one two and three and i also used the buttons that came in the kit so there's three of them right there there were actually four in the kit so i was able to use three and i have one left over and the whole thing was mounted on the background which i came up with based on the sketch for the month so every month over on the mercy tiara kit club facebook group which is linked in the information section below. Over on the Facebook group every month, we have a sketch challenge where you can actually win a $25 gift card to the MTK shop. And this month, the sketch looks almost like this because I followed the sketch very, very closely. The diagonal actually runs this way in the sketch, but I changed it around for my paper. And yeah, so this was my, my take on that sketch. And it's been really fun seeing everybody post their, their takes on the sketch over on the Facebook group. So if you haven't checked that out yet, make sure that you join our Facebook group because there's lots of fun stuff always going on there as well. So those are my three pages. I hope that you enjoyed this little layout share video. Take care and have yourself a really great scrappy week. Mm -hmm.